by the end of this video you will be able to get the list of files from google drive using php let's not waste the time shall we open the google and search google drive api php open the developer.google.com site you have to have the php version greater than 5.4 also if you are using windows os you can download the composer from this link you can find how to enable api However, sometimes Google update this page, so this link won't always be there. So to enable the API, follow my steps. On Google, search console cloud Google. Go inside the link called console.cloud.google.com. From side menu, click on dashboard inside home. Here, next to Google Cloud Platform, you will see one drop down. Click on it. Create a new project. Give it any random name. Wait for project to be created. After that, again click on drop down and select the project that you recently created. After that, open the side menu and in APIs and services, click on credentials. Click on create credentials and OAuth client ID. Initially, you will have to configure the project. Only the external user type is available so click on it and click on create. Give any random app name. Select your email id. Scroll down. Add any random domain. You can even add google.com for now. I have my own website so I am going to add it. But you can add google.com just for now. In developer contact information add your own email address. Add all the scopes available. In test users, add your own email address for now. Click on save and continue. Now we are ready to create credentials. Again go to side menu, APIs and services, credentials. Click on create credentials or auth client id. Select web application. Give any name. In authorized JS origins, you can add localhost IP address. In authorized redirect URIs, you have to add the path which will display list of files in Google Drive. I am using XAM, so in htdocs, I am going to create a folder. Use the folder name next to IP address and then quickstart.php We shall later going to create a quickstart.php file Once done, you will see client id Click on its download icon, download the json Copy paste the file inside google drive folder which is inside htdocs folder of xamp Rename it to credentials.json file as given in the code Open the command from and reach to Google Drive folder by using this cd commands. Once reach, type the command as shown in document. Wait for vendor file to download. After that create a quickstart.php file in that google drive folder. Paste the given code inside that file. We shall change scope to drive because in next video we shall upload files from server to google drive. Change the number of files that you want to list. Go to google cloud platform. Click on library, search google drive api, enable the api. Now run the command they provided, it shall ask for verification code. Mark the link with the mouse and right click on top of cmd and copy it. Paste it in browser url, login with your email. Actually, I forgot to start XAMPP, 
but it doesn't matter. Copy the value of code parameter in URL up to the ampersand, paste it and you will see the list of files from Google Drive. There is an error of count function which is showing because of the different version of PHP. I shall fix that later. First, I shall make it run on browser by starting the Apache server from XAMPP. Hit the URL which ends with quickstart.php. It is not allowing to run it on browser so comment those lines from file. You will be able to see file list on browser. To fix the count function error, go to the file where the count function is created. Wrap its argument inside an array and now the error is gone. Like if that works for you, any doubts comment them down below. In next video, I am going to upload files from server to Google Drive. So make sure to subscribe if you want to.